Tilos Radio, 19.3 FM. We have fans on who's appearing tomorrow on 8.38. I thought we really want to talk a little bit about this event tomorrow because it's a part of the British festival and Saturday is where we have the musical acts and acts is going to be for fans on. Hello, fans on. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. So, what will we hear tomorrow? Please tell us. Um, you're gonna hear some stuff that I've been working on for a while, which is my spoken word and my poetry. You're gonna hear some of that fused with some of what Tillos have been doing musically as well. So, mm-hmm. looking forward to it. It's gonna be a great night. Yeah, we've been to the studio with Mango and the Gimme Shot crew. So you're going to appear together with them? Yeah. And what are your impressions of Budapest? My yeah. impressions? Yeah. I, I'm liking it so far, man. I'm trying to get to see as much as I can. Yeah, we still yeah. have a lot to see now. Definitely. <laughs> so what have you seen today, then? Today, what have I seen? What have we seen today, man? Um, yeah, just it's like I'm just trying to absorb it all in. I know we saw the castle. I saw, well, I'm going to go back and see the castle a little bit later. I'm yeah. looking forward to that because I've been told it's better at night. Um, seeing the Statue of Liberty, is that right? Yeah. Okay, seen the Liberty Bridge. Um, seen another bridge as well. What's the other, the name of the other bridge? Uh, don't tell me. Elizabeth Bridge, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so There's yeah, quite a been, lot of bridges. You haven't seen them all yet, then? No, not mm-hmm. all of them, not all of them. Um, been taking some photos today as well from my hotel room. Some nice, I've got a nice view. I can see, like, the, kind of like the whole mountainside kind of thing, so. It's looking really nice. So yeah, just been taking photos and driving around, looking at the bridges, and I saw the statue as well, holding up her palm leaves and stuff. I want to get really closer to that because I've been told it's a uh, it's a really nice view from up there, yeah. you know, throughout the city. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, just been, just been enjoying the day, just going around and seeing some of the sights. Mm-hmm. You brought some English weather with you as well, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it for <laughs> real. Yeah. And um, how much different? Is your experience here from your know, everyday life at home? Or do you see what are the differences in it? What are the similarities? Hmm, the differences and similarities. You probably don't stay in a hotel, do you, at home? It's probably a difference, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yes, that's one, definitely. Um, one of the differences is uh, the food I've eaten over the past few days. Mm-hmm. The f- like, when I'm back home and I'm working and going to shows and stuff and networking, yeah. I'm not really thinking about food and stuff. You know, I'm yeah. just eating whatever's there, just like grabbing junk and stuff. But over the past two days, I've just had some great food, mm-hmm. like excellent tasting food, and that's that's been one of the differences for me that that's I can think of now that stand mm-hmm. out in my mind. Because when I'm back home, I don't think about it. I just eat to stay alive. I don't eat and enjoy food like I have done over the past few days. So that's one thing I'd say I really enjoyed. Do you eat out in Britain, though? Yeah, most of the time, but really? it's always like chips and yeah, right. rubbish. That's not really eating out. Is exactly. It? That's taking it away. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. So. You know, and even when I do, it's it's it's, 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 it's always in a hurry. You know, always got got to be onto the next project, got something to something to go, a meeting, you know, things like that, or a show to go to. So, being here, it's been nice to sit down and just chill out and eat something proper. You know, so that's one of the things that have been a, a highlight over the past few days. You know, some like great food and stuff. You're in a luxurious position because most people that live here don't have time to sit down and eat something properly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. But when you go abroad, now yeah. it's more of a, a thing. So that's. That's been one of the highlights for me, just having some nice food, man. You brought some emergency food with you, though, didn't you? You told me. What did yeah, you bring with you? I bought, um, what did I bring? I bought a couple of uh, pot noodles. And mm-hmm. I bought, and that was a suggestion from some friends back home because they said that, you know, which is true as well, you know, if you're coming from different places, the water's different, the food's different, so, you know, it'd be worthwhile to carry some, some tea bags and, you know, if you, hopefully you have a care. They don't sell tea bags in Hungary, do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, just... Emergency, as you said, you know. Have you eaten the pot noodles yet? Then you can't yeah, s- you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did definitely. Because I'm, I, I, I get hungry really in the middle of the night. I wake up and want something to eat, so it's good, they're handy to have, you know. So yeah, I've been, been chowing down the nose late at night. And what have you been eating here then? Here, um, I had a nice duck steak today. Um, I had a nice fish soup yesterday. Um, uh, what else did I have? Uh, Oh, there was some other thing I had. I can't remember exactly what it was now. It was a it was a chicken meal though, and it was really nice. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, some cheese and yeah, it was just it's nice. Yeah. When you checked out Gimme Shot last night, were you, <laughs> were you at the Gimme Shot party last night here in the Courtyplex? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was called that. Sorry, yeah. yeah. I just knew the name of the venue. It was Gimme Shop. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, go, I'd go and work. I'm sorry, I missed it. What was it like then? It was good. Yeah. It was really good. It's nice to. It, it was nice to uh, see. Yeah, how 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 Budapest gets down in terms of you know the party scene and stuff like that. Do you think the atmosphere is different from say London? Definitely, definitely haven't been to something like that with that kind of vibe in a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope it still exists in London because it's been really refreshing. You know, seeing them guys I'm seeing last night and just the vibe was nice. Everyone was dancing as well. A lot of the the clubs and stuff I've been to or even put, performed at uh, in London or in the UK, it's like, you know, you have people standing around the walls and just watching each other and like, you know, see what this person's wearing. And it's not really about coming out to enjoy yourself and dance. So last night was really refreshing in terms of seeing people just dancing and enjoying themselves. And that was it. You now they came out to dance and enjoy themselves, not watch everyone else and, you know, just stand around the walls and stuff. This floor was full of people dancing. And that was, that was good. Were you dancing too? Yes, I was. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You couldn't not be. You know? did, you, did you get Shawnee dancing as well? Yeah, was, yeah, well, she was dancing actually. I've never seen her dance. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna are you gonna get the crowd dancing tomorrow on the boat then? Do you think? I hope so, man. Yeah, definitely. Looking forward to that. Seeing the boat in action. The boat know? in action. It's a pity it doesn't move. That's the only thing, isn't it? Well, I, mean, I don't it, know. It, actually, it could be a really nice journey, couldn't I, it? You could cruise up to Vienna and Prague on the boat. True. <laughs> Yeah. True. I heard it. I heard it. Kind of um, when it gets going, it, it moves a bit. Mm. So that you know that might create the illusion enough for us to think we're going up to Vienna. Or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so the so the so the event is on a boat. I mean, what do you think is the? I mean, it's not a particularly strange place, but have you done any shows? Any kind of weird places? Any strange places? Wow, there's so many, but I'm trying to think of <laughs> one that's weird. If you understand what I mean. Um, yeah, I performed in this uh, in London. I performed in this this fetish uh, club. <laughs> um, with um, it's got you know it's got the kind of was it a fetish night? It, it was yeah. Uh -huh. it was so a fetish you night. were in fetish. I wasn't. <laughs> you fetish, weren't. You were the only one not in fetish. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was the exceptions, you know, but for the most part, it was a fetish night, and there was it, it's it's a fetish club in the sense that it's got all the the stuff that you have at those kind of places, like the cross and the 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 the, the red room with the. The velvet mattress and stuff and I've know. never been in a fetish club I mean what goes on there I mean is it pretty, oh, yeah, pretty the, hot the, and steamy the, you know the, the you know you see the cage you have the cage where you lock the person out <laughs> funny enough yes yeah. I had to perform from the cage ah. it was one of the, the things that they wanted to do they had someone put you in the cage and then bring you they announce you and mm -hmm. they, they open the cage and you come out of the cage it's, well I mean how did you feel doing that didn't you feel a little bit freaked out by the whole thing I did <laughs> I did but I'm always a person what that likes perform? new experiences what did you perform was it anything oh I can't remember now then? but yeah I always I, I definitely say it was fitting I did a lot of lustful kind of poetry that night because uh, one thing I like to do is I like themes. I like working with themes as a challenge to um, do poetry that you know be challenged by presenting something that's suitable for the theme of that particular project or night. So definitely, yeah, I did some some kind of sexy stuff and you know stuff related to that. What was the crowd album. like? Were they really into? You? Um, yeah, they enjoyed it mm -hmm. definitely. How come you got booked in a fetish club though? I mean, that's. Um, kind of strange, isn't it? It was the lady who was organising it. She is a. Um, she used to be into porn mm -hmm. and photography, and the two kind of go together. And um, she was having a night. She's also a poet, so that's how it all came together, I suppose. That's how I got booked for that. And she knows me from the poetry scene. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what about your plans? What do you what do you have in the pipeline for the rest of the year? For the rest of the year, um, I want to talk about my album because that's like I've, I've bought this album out, and it's this year one of the things I want to do uh, with all my CDs up from year 2000 to now. I've never had my CDs um, in bulk, you know, and like a bulk in bulk order. I've mm -hmm. always um, had them like as much as I need for that time. Like coming here, I've only got a certain amount for being here, you know, in terms of all, the, all the, the, the finance goes back into getting more, so I can only get so many. So you, know? so you kind of coughed up and had a big pressing done then? No, that's what I would, That's one of the things for this year, yeah, that's I what see. I want to do, uh -huh. that's one of my aims for this year. Same thing with my book as well, mm -hmm. um, re-releasing the book, um, uh, launched the book um, last June, and what I want to do now, and it has like 16 poems in it, it was like a pre-release version, and what I want to do this year, one of my goals for this year is to uh, 
re-release it again, the full the full version in bulk as well, just like the CDs. That's those two things I'm looking forward to doing: re-releasing the book and getting my product out in uh, bulk quantity in one go. How, you know? do you, how do you distribute and market your 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 CD and your book then? Um, Presently, the CD is uh, available via my website and anywhere I'm performing. Anywhere I'm performing. Should we do a name drop? Should we give everybody your web address? Oh, most definitely, yes. Yeah. Fenzology.com. That's spelled P H E N Z O L O G Y. That's P H E N O L O G Y. Fenzology.com. What can we find on your website then? On my website, I can find information about me, everything I'm doing, everything I've, I've done so far. Well, some of it. Um, how you can get the CD, information about the book and the forthcoming events I've got coming up, links to uh, various other artists um, around the world doing stuff, especially in, on the poetry scene, um, rappers as well, singers, so I've got a few links on there for artists that I've encountered on my journey, so I'll put those links on there to their websites, um, you can find out stuff about that, and especially events that I'm doing because I organise events in London as well, Bulk and Word Nights, information about that. Um, also information on there was one other thing you can find information on well there's lots more but um, can also join my mailing list as well I'm holy for stuff on there you have there. t-shirts as well I see you're wearing a yeah. Fenzology t-shirt that's right yeah t-shirts how, that's, much, that's, how much is one of those then one of these yeah. um, I'm not sure how much it works out to in, uh, in Budapest but in, uh, in pounds it probably works out to about eight pounds something like that and they're, they're going to be out later on this year as well. Uh -huh. So you haven't brought colors. any for the A38 then? Unfortunately not. Only the ones I'm going to be wearing. Uh, how many are yeah. you going to be wearing then? Um, <laughs> well, so far I've been here two days and I've worn four different colours. So. You only wear Fenzology t-shirts? Most of the time, That's yeah. That's really cool, yeah. yeah it's so like what, what about this name, Fenzology? You told me last night. I'm yes. sure nobody knows what Fenzology is. Well, they're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> is it a they're secret? It's like it's like the website definitely helps to spread what Fenzology. No, it's not a secret at all. It definitely helps to um, spread the outreach of what Fenzology is all about. And Fenzology just basically comes from my name, which means to give light, to give birth, and to create shining star. And Fenzology is just the science of that, the science of giving birth to things, creating, and just letting your inner light shine. Um, and it's it doesn't have a, a country of origin really. People say you know what language is that? It doesn't really have. A, it's more of a sound. Than a name. I deal a lot with phonetics and speech patterns in my writing, so it's more of a sound than a name, and it just comes from Fenzwan, which is my name. How long have you been called Fenzwan then? Six years now. Six years. Yeah. And you've been working as a full-time poet and writer for and the past four and a half years. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it's a good career then. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you seem to be a very busy guy. Definitely. Where are you going after Budapest? Where am I going after yeah. Budapest? I'm heading back to London for a little while and I'll be getting ready to travel again um, to Virginia. So looking forward to that as well. What are you going to be doing in Virginia? Are you doing a show or a tour? Or? Um, I'll be doing a tour of, uh, well, with a, basically it's like, you know, you go to any place, you want to see as much and do as much as you can. So I'm really aiming to, to do that. You know, go yeah, do a little tour of it. I mean, actually, at the moment it's just one event. I'm due to perform it out there. It's called the annual Penpoint Ball, and it's the second one we're having. It's going to be on September 11th, and it's basically poets invited from um, different cities and, in my case, different countries as well to perform on that night. And yeah, I'm just going to be out there doing that. And in between that, I'm hoping to uh, to do some more dates as well. My dates kind of come up as uh, as I go along, basically. You know, from here I might meet someone who's interested in booking me for something else, somewhere, something somewhere else. So that's just how how I go along. So you have to be kind of flexible. Definitely, yeah. So what's so? I mean, I have no idea what life must be like as a performing poet. I mean, for you, what what would be a long period of inactivity? I mean, not doing shows. What would be a, a long? Yeah, I mean, a month without a show would that be a long time? I mean, or <laughs> are you in a luxurious position where you don't need to? Do shows so often? Not yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not yet. Um, How many shows do you think you do roughly per year then? <laughs> per year? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, right, okay, in the last couple of months, how many shows have you done? Picture it this way, right? Yeah. Um, from the year 2000, I've bought out, from the year 2000 to now, I've bought out five CDs, mm -hmm. um, a book, a live video, you know, my little t shirts, and I've launched my website as well. Um, now, each of those things I've mentioned require promotion. 
especially when you you don't have like a major publicity campaigns or big music videos and stuff you're out on the road doing it yourself so for me to get adequate promotion for all of those all that merchandise that I bought out over that, that those past uh, five years I'm gonna need to be out on the road constantly constantly doing stuff getting my name out there you know because it's not written up everywhere you know and big billboards like some of the you know major majorly signed artists so yeah countless you know I, I, I wouldn't even like to say I've done like a thousand shows because that probably be a lot less than what I've done really you know if you if I could count one 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 each one you know so yeah endless countless and, and it's important in terms of not only promoting but just getting better getting to know the scene spreading my name you know, just, just fine-tuning my craft as a writer and as a performer, you know, so, yeah. You sound very ambitious, I mean, that's fantastic. What, 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 do you, what do you see? Do you have a kind of goal? I mean, where would you like to be kind of in 10 years' time? What would you like to be doing, do you think? In 10 years' time, yeah. I see, you know, I'm always going to be producing, like, CDs and bringing out, you know, CDs of my work. That's one thing. Um, I'm very interested in theatre, very interested in film. Um, very interested in working with various different artists in the music world and the film world as well. Um, I see, I see endless possibilities. You know, I, I, I don't limit myself. I don't censor myself in any way. I don't say any goal is too great to reach or attain. You know, yeah, I see, I see it all. You know, I believe that um, self belief and self determination and that whole thing is is real. You know, if you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. You know, how no matter how great. So I see, I see everything, man. I see a big future. Please tell us what what verbalized mind is, for example, and what you're doing. Okay, uh, verbalized minds is a monthly spoken word and poetry night I've been running now, and it's June is going to be the first year uh, anniversary of the show. The show's almost been running a year now, and basically it's an open platform for spoken word artists as well as other artists as well. Often have singers and. Uh, rappers and comedians come up and do stuff as well um, it's just an open platform for artists to perform at the show from anywhere around the world basically and as you're saying i've had Dwayne morgan on the show he's from toronto i'm have another artist who's going to be featuring next month she's from new york um various um talam ac is a, another excellent poet from um newark new jersey so it's yeah it's just a whole you know open platform for artists to come and perform. It's predominantly the spoken word and poetry night. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's that's what it is. It's a it's an open open platform for anyone who's traveling, passing through and wants to do stuff. And it's not about any uh, one particular type of artist. You know, some shows are geared towards artists that are established, more established than artists that are just aspiring and starting out. They may want to come and just read something from paper and try it out. That's what the show's about, you know, and it's not censored in any way in terms of what kind of material you do. You can perform what you want. That's what I wanted to verbalize minds to be about. That's why I called it that. You know, it's about verbalizing what's in your mind. You, you're free to speak about whatever you want, no matter what level you're on as an artist as well. Whether you're uh, like been doing stuff for years and years and years, and you're professional, or you're just starting out. What it's like to perform in front of a crowd. That's what verbalized minds is about. An established artist. I'd like to ask you to think about something to perform. Yeah, um, great. Acapella. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So you, I just play music and then you give me a sign and you start. No doubt, yeah. Okay.